so that's going to be a proper stress. We've now got four moulds. I don't, I don't even drink and I want to go to the pub. Welcome back to the channel. It's miserable at Kirkbride, but we're not miserable in here. Adam's here, sir, Adam. All right. <laughs> it's like a community. Have you ever seen Christine? That communal garage where they fix the cars in Christine. It's a bit like that in here today. There's some stuff everywhere, cars everywhere. So Jonathan hasn't got any further. I did get the mould finished. So this is the mould that he was working on the last video. And uh, I'm just cleaning it up now. There's been a couple of little spots that I had to... So Fabio's working on his Nissan. Electrics, look at this. This is the wiring harness out of the S13. Oh my God. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> yeah, they're over there doing that. Fabio's working on this. You can barely move in the place, to be fair, but near Zortis. Near Zortis. Near Bal. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, been here for a little bit, just sanding on the on the side skirt mould. Um, put some polish on it now, I'm getting it ready for casting into it. So getting there. Uh, I've got the door over here as well, which that's had a coat of wax on, needs some more. So... Hopefully, cast into that, get a door card made and this skirt made and then, obviously not today, but we need them to for the, for the next step forward. So this side skirt is the a produced kit part. We've got, obviously I, I got the paint colour. Oh, Otis is trying to... Where you at, Otis? <laughs> I got the same paint code as the, the, the gel coat, so pretty damn good colour match. But that's not been painted. Well, we can get down here and have a look at the, the shine on it, but it's as almost as shiny as the paint. It needs polish, this is out of the mould, but once this is polished, this will be as shiny as the paint. You won't be able to tell what's painted and what's not. Yeah, pretty much perfect finish on, on that one. So we're getting there. I've said that a lot, haven't I? And I can't remember the dude's name but uh he's got a green motorbike comments on the um on my videos and that i'm saying to him about i've noticed that i say things a lot <laughs> i didn't realize there was a stuff that i say that i actually repeat myself quite a lot you don't realize until you till you make these videos and you look back at them apparently yeah, cubes is always saying i say so a lot as well i don't care i'll say what i want to say it's my channel no! So yeah, I've just been sanding out a couple of little nibs. So I'll get this finished, polished, and hopefully we'll get some fiberglass laid into it today. Can't see why not. A few minutes later. Right, I thought I'd show you what I've been up to for God knows how long, absolutely ages. So this is the bottom of the door, and I've been putting plasticine in the, uh, in the join all the way along the bottom of the door so that the resin doesn't leak under there. I've been doing the same on the on the side skirt as well. It's just about done now, so hopefully we can get on with getting it waxed up. I don't think I'm even gonna get anything laid up today with the fiberglass. It's took that long to get. It's just been really, really fiddly. Just get a really thin layer of plasticine in it to help with the edges, but it's a right fiddly job. So I've got all the, the, the bits polished up and so it just needs wax now, but. His head's battered. My head's battered. Where's Adam? Somewhere. Oh, over there, his head's battered as well. Is your head battered today, Jonathan? Yeah. I think we all, I think we all need therapy today. It's, uh, it's just been, do you think it's the weather? Blame it on the weather, eh? Okay. I don't I don't even drink and I want to go to the pub. Day two. Back of the garage. It's Sunday. I've been here for a little while. I've been putting wax on the on the panels. So this mould's now ready. This is a door. I put 
I've done a little bit of work. Can you see there? See these dull bits there? I've polished them, but because <clears throat> this is on, it's a bit difficult to get at it. So I'm just going to machine polish that when when we're when we've got one out of it. Because this door panel is going to get painted anyway. But the, the mold needs a little bit more work to just polish, and so we get nice shiny shiny jobs out of it. Yeah, so that one's done. Spent ages yesterday just putting bits of plasticine in these cracks, which absolutely done my scone in. It's mad how I can sand filler and primer for weeks and weeks and weeks but give us a bit of plasticine and I'm sick as a pig in half an hour so with the same situation over here this is now two coats of wax on it it's obviously the shine that we've got on this should replicate into the into the kit so I'm going to get the gel coat out mix some gel coat up two coats of gel coat on both moulds and then we're ready to start laying fibreglass in it so hopefully I'll get these done today Right, so we've got the first layer of the thin tissue on. Actually, this stuff here is really, really fine. And then this is the first layer of proper fiberglass on. of Sunday that's that door now in the mold so I'll be off by tomorrow it's quite warm that at the minute it's kicking off a bit of heat side skirt so yeah I'm back here tomorrow so hopefully we'll be pulling them out and producing something like like that one and then we can get them on the car and start on the next stage what a mission it's quite stressful doing the molding so that's going to be a proper stress we've now got four molds four functioning molds and four parts out of those molds so that leaves us with the bumper the bonnet the roof and the clam we're going to do the clam next i'll just show you what jonathan's been doing so what he's got here is a scan of the roof and then he's worked out the profiles of the roof so that he can cut on the laser cutter the the fence to go across the roof because we're going to mould the roof in two sections so in fact they're going to be three because there's going to be the undercut bits as well so that gives us the bit to create the up face to, to bolt it together 